Back on the live wire with Mr. Broadcast. We're out here today over at Club Survivor in JTF Guantanamo, and I have a special guest with me. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, my name's Carrie Turner. I'm from the television show JAG. Um, I guess it's, it's still on TV every morning and reruns, but we were on for 10 years. I was on for nine out of the 10 years, and uh, it afforded me the opportunity to come and hang out with the uh, guys and girls of the military for the last few years, so I'm lucky. Carrie, exactly what are you doing here this weekend, hanging out in Joint Task Force Guantanamo? <laughs> We're here just to uh, do a little bit of a concert, a little Christmas parade last night, which was really fun, and just to thank everybody, if, you know, to come out. I've been to Iraq and Afghanistan and Korea, and any chance I get to kind of come and thank you guys for what you do, especially during the holidays when you're away from your families, and uh, and thank you know by the way thank the families for their sacrifice as well, and just to come out and give you a little of this, a little love at, 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 during the holidays and say thank you for your service. Is you get a chance to do that, you you got to take it. And I have a special guest here who's no secret to you, but I'm gonna let her introduce herself anyway. Uh, my name is Marissa Miller, and I'm a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> And Marissa, what are you doing here today at Joint Task Force Guantanamo? Um, I'm on a USO tour uh, to come visit the troops and check out uh, Cuba and, and wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Well, it was a privilege to have you here. <laughs> Is there anything in closing that you would like to tell the troops just to take in through the holidays or as motivation for the job that they have to do here? Yeah, I mean, I would just say um, it's, it's you guys have made the ultra, ultimate sacrifice on our behalf, and I'm truly humbled seeing your commitment and your bravery. and. Big kiss to you. Go USA. <laughs> Hello, sir. I am Salida Ebanks. I'm a Victoria's Secret Angel. And why are you here today in Joint Task Force Guantanamo? Well, we're here. I'm here with my other fellow angels and with Johnny, um, the uh, mayor of Hollywood, California. He's invited us down to support the troops. It's all about spreading the love, letting you guys know that we're here for you. Now, Coming to Guantanamo Bay is just not an everyday event. No. So, so what were your expectations when you first came here? And over the last two and a half days, how have they made change or continue to grow? Wow, I mean, my expectations were surpassed. I, I thought it was going to be episode of MASH. You know, if you guys are familiar with MASH, but um, I mean, it's beautiful here. Everyone's so nice. The parade last night was amazing. Um, it's just really, really, it, it's far beyond what I expected. It's really beautiful and it's very, I feel very safe here. You know, you all are very professional and just really great people. And <laughs> I love you guys. Anything for the holidays, for the next couple of weeks that they have going on being stuck here in Guantanamo? Can I talk to them? Yes, you sure can. Hey guys, I just want you all to know to stay strong. You're my personal hero. I love all of you. Um, have a great holiday. You guys stay positive and just know that I'm thinking of you. And over at Victoria's Secret, we all love you too. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Adriana Lima and um, I'm here with uh, Celida and Marisa with uh, the Victoria's Secret team um, at Guantanamo Bay. And what is it like for you being here at Guantanamo Bay? This is one of the most intriguing places right now in the world and in the news and you're here to, mm -hmm. for a tour. Mm -hmm. What is that like for you? Well, uh, we were at the parade and uh, everybody here, they're really kind and they have a great heart and um, it was really, I, I think I was very quiet because I really wanted to observe and, and, uh, mm -hmm. and take as much as I could for myself as learning and then um, I met, I uh, had a chance to talk with one of the troops and he, I'm, I'm, I was literally uh, almost like 10 years older than him, <laughs> let's not go there, my age, but I, he was, he made me cry, I mean, in a good way, his heart for his age, it was so mature and he was talking about family values and how great you have, always, always have to make sure that the people you love yes that you need to make sure that you tell them how much you love them all the time and sometimes you know i i'm not gonna i it's not that i i forget and it's not in purpose so i realize realize not on, only family but my friends and even my dog you know whatever it is and I'm learning this, you know, always show your emotions, always show, always show 
what you have inside of you is not not bad so that's what I learned with him and uh, everything that he told me and the fact that he in such a young age he has such a mature heart it's it's really amazing because in I think we need people like him today in this world we need that strength and that courage and that pureness of heart today.